in action so what I need to do is first as I introduce you that tool key tool that is provided by Sun Microsystem we are going to make use of it to generate a dummy certificate and then that certificate I will sign my application with so that it can accept request over HTTPS protocol and the communication between client and server is going to be encrypted so how we use this tool so anywhere in the command prompt I am okay uh, let's say key tool this is the command this is the command line tool that is available in your bin folder of JDK installation you need to pass a parameter here gen key pair along with an alias a short name for your certificate like I call it my cert okay then I say here key algorithm to be used and uh, let's say I'm going to use over here RSA algorithm there are other algorithms also which you can use then I need to specify here key store and that key store is the location where you need to generate your certificate I say C drive my certificate dot cert okay this is the digital certificate I am going to generate in C drive if you don't specify this last argument that is key store this key store if you don't specify it will be generated in the home folder or the root directory of your current logged in user like current logged in user is this training name user in that directory we'll see it okay so this is the command you can see it key tool hyphen gen key pair hyphen alias my cert is the name of the certificate I'm giving over here key algorithm is RSA and key store this is the location that is C drive that it has to generate a certificate with this name hit enter what do you see it asks for the password it asks it will ask you lot of things before generating the certificate dummy certificate so keep on entering it as I say I want to enter the password I re-entered the password what's your first name and last name is asked me I entered Shwab Khan what is the name of your organizational unit IT unit it asks for the name of the organization let's say Marlboro what is the name of your city I say New Delhi what is the name of your state let's say Delhi two letter country code let's say 91 for India okay now it's confirming that this certificate name is Swap Khan this organization unit honor locality this is state and this country I show you are generate yes you type hit Y and enter enter the key password for confirmation again SRK123 I'm entering okay I will use it later so I will I'm telling you SRK123 key generated where of course in the C drive like you can see I have specified the location C drive so let's navigate over there okay so you got this key over here if you open it if you want to understand a bit of it it's going to be encrypted information so there is no use of opening it but just for the sake of your understanding or your satisfaction I'm opening and showing you encrypted information that is generated this is the information that we can't read actually it is encrypted using this RSA algorithm a uh, public private key pair that will discuss later okay so let's see how we can make use of this certificate just now generated and is in my C drive so in order to make use of this specific key this certificate this passport digital document that I have generated over here I need to configure my Apache Tomcat so here is my server here is my con file and what I need is to edit this server.xml file I need to make certain changes for editing XML as you know this editors are really very very difficult and not that much supportive so what I'm going to use is Eclipse over here for editing it so to just make the thing clear okay so I'm gonna open Eclipse in which I will open this server.xml file this file okay of course let me show you you can open it in notepad or any editor of your choice but it's not that clear things will get like jumbled over here and you may get confused while practicing it at your own so that's why I want to make it very very clear what exactly I'm trying to do here so I just open Eclipse I dragged my file over here and just waiting for the Eclipse to respond back and now here the file is so let's navigate here you can see here server element service this service element contains a connector element as a child here this connector element provide various kind of protocol and port at which the request can be listened by this web server like we have by default this protocol HTTP and 9090 the protocol on which the server is listening request as you can see the server is started on port 9090 and I was requesting the site on the 9090 you can refresh it and further check yes the server is listening to the request 
so this is what this port is specified over here if you scroll down a little over here you can find some dummy codes like commented over here connector for tomcat thread pool and at the same time scroll a bit more you find over here okay here it is defining a SSL HTTP 1.1 connector on port 8443 as I said you can change the port but I'm not going to change it let's keep it default here I just copied the content from here and cause this is comment you can see here this comment I pressed over here out of comment to make changes over here and making my application this web server ready for listening on 8443 for HTTPS based protocol as you can see default settings are there connector port the protocol this protocol this we need to change over here this protocol is going to be org dot apache dot scoyot dot http one one dot http one one neo protocol let me check the spelling org dot apache dot coyote dot http one one dot http one one nio protocol fine this is first setting that you need to do over here. SSL enabled is true by default. It is maximum threads 150, scheme HTTPS, secure true, client authentication false, and SSL protocol tail. I'm not going to explain each and everything over here. Let it be default because it is going to be a large video and it will take time for you to also understand the thing. So let's concentrate on the part. Like what I did, I just took this connector port 8443 configuration for SSL out of this comment and I changed the protocol. Next thing is I need to specify my key store file and password. Key store file. That is where exactly this file is located in C drive. I showed you and let me show you once again here if you forgot it. So C drive contains my shirt.cert. This is the extension I have given. Okay. My certificate at C drive. So I type over here c colon slash my cert dot shirt okay there is no spe uh, specification for specifying the dot cert as an extension you can use any extension of your choice but just to keep it like uh, a certificate kind of file it is next is key store pass password what exactly you have given i said srk123 so i'll keep it here and just save this server dot xml file when you save it you need to restart the server so the server running I hit control C in order to stop it so now if I make a request for this service it should not actually written uh, let me run again starting the browser here and I am entering this 1990 it should return me page not found of error okay of course server is not running actually so let's start the server again start up okay <coughs> so you can notice the server is starting here and once it gets started we'll try to invoke first by the default technique by using the HTTP protocol okay it's listening and now this time using HTTPS protocol 8443 yes this is what you can see here there is a problem with the website security certificate and it is asking for permission to continue to the site click on it and notice here it changed to HTTPS Hmm. Let me show you on other browser where in the Chrome I have showed you some inbuilt uh, like uh, some website. I entered HTTPS protocol localhost 8443, and you see this screen. Many times you are visiting website and you get this notification, and you just proceed anyway. And right now also we are going to do it. But now you are developing your, uh, you are configuring your web server to listen for HTTPS request at the same time I'll show you your application single specific application can be redirected to this HTTPS when a request comes proceed okay so why not test with the certificates click here certificate information and what it says is you to Shwab Khan if you want the details everything I entered this is the name organization unit Marlboro New Delhi 91 just now I answered the dummy values yeah, so this means my server is ready and you can see a red cross over here indicating that it's a, not a trusted certificate issued to this web server but exactly for testing or understanding purpose this tool is very helpful as you can see over here Now the next thing let's suppose uh, I'm having a particular let's say 1990 port an application over here what application I have here so come to this web apps directory over here uh, I have few application like say web app DAO okay web app DAO is the application I want to test so I write over here web app DAO 
it should be working yeah of course it's working employee management system i'm not going to use this application i'll show you what this application is just making you understand of how https will work so let's test it with https every application that is hosted on this server web server will now respond to this https based request mm -hmm. but one more thing to notice over here i f if simply let's say i just made a request here for this application http on http protocol like suppose what i'm trying to say is 9090 and i enter here web app dao so when i entered web app dao this is this application is returned to me from the server using default protocol but what do you notice in case of gmail when i enter gmail.com it directly redirect me to the https page or when i hit the login button on edge on facebook.com it redirected me my request or responded me with a page that is based on https protocol why it did it so that further communication from the client to server when it comes to authentication or kind of sensitive data being transmitted between client and server it automatically changes the protocol presenting itself to the user as an authenticated website or web application the same i want for my application when i entered web http colos 1990 and web app dao this application as it is a login screen it should directly take me to the https protocol so that when user enters id and password and tries to log in it should be an encrypted order and it should be from the authenticated or authorized organization only so how exactly this thing we need to do here here so let's come to our application as i showed here web apps web app dao here we have web inf that contains web.xml we need to make a small change over here in web.xml let's open it here in eclipse oops sorry uh drag it properly when eclipse opens not wait wait like say i edit copy the contents and i'm just going to paste over here okay just for demonstration i'm not going to save it over here in case it can cause difficulty so this is my application a lot of servlet and things i configure what exactly you need to do over here you need to add the security constraint to your application which i will explain you don't worry at last like say this is where my session and configuration kind of thing servlet mapping i pasted this configuration over here what exactly i did is something you need to understand here very carefully security constraint web resource collection here you need to give the name of the application web app hyphen dao i guess okay you are adding slash asterisk means i am adding a security restriction a constraint on this web application and pattern is slash asterisk means for all the pages for all the resources user wish to access on the site if i want like on if only the user want to access the login page then this constraint should be applied so i will write here slash login dot jsp or kind of the url path but i right now for demonstration i want if user want to access the web app dao any section it should be protected what is the user data constraint i specify here is transport guarantee and that is going to be confidential it can contains three values confidential integral or none by default it is none that's why you can you are accessing the application without any transport guarantee now if i say transport guarantee it means the tls that i said earlier also the ssl has been renamed or is now be, uh, substituted by tls transport layer security your application will be transported in a guaranteed manner that the data being exchanged between the client and the server will always be confidential it is not going to be hacked or sniffed in between and pattern as you see slash asterisk so let me just copy all of this code and come back to our web inf web.xml i just copied the code i delete earlier code and i paste it save it over here saved in what web app dao i need to restart the server now so for restarting the server you can see the server is running control c server stops and i say start up okay so i'm restarting my application uh, so, uh, sorry web server and just 3 to 7 millisecond it got started now let's test this http local host 9090 web app dao look here i am writing http 9090 protocol and just hit enter and wait for some moment wow this was what i was expecting this is redirected to ssl continue to this website on your wish if you want to see here just close just open it here okay and 
enter look here http localhost 9090 protocol i am requesting the site hit enter and automatically you are redirect to https this is what happened in case of gmail if you remember i type gmail dot com let me explicitly write http colon slash slash www dot gmail dot com http it was okay and you see automatically magically it changes https cause when you enter html the first screen to be presented is this home screen and this employee management system that i've designed also has got the same home screen of login or authentication kind of things over there that's why i just presented i wanted that it to be secured the client like me accessing this web server over here now will be assured okay this application being served from the server is from valid and it is identified and is from a verified sources right now it is saying the identity of this way has not been verified that's why it is crossed okay sometime you get this cross then don't trust on those website never enter your password never enter any secure information okay and here once we get uh, we pay a fee and we get its original certificate we test our application this will be done green okay so this is i think uh, now for now it's getting too late and it was too big demonstration anyways thank you for watching if you have any queries or question please don't forget to post it at the bottom of the videos and kindly do not ask the questions or write in the chat box when i'm offline because i couldn't receive those messages when i'm offline i'm using a mebo client over there that's why if you have any issues any concern you just write in the box as a comment as a feedback as a suggestion or as any request just below the video where you find it okay thank you everyone